The vast ocean covers a major portion of our planet, and we go our entire lives living on land not knowing what untold mysteries are hidden away deep in the sea. The few adventurous souls who brave the murky depths by undertaking the deep sea expeditions are the only few people who know the real story of this underwater realm. Some discover shipwrecks from centuries ago, some come across mysterious sea creatures never been seen before, and some are lucky enough to stumble upon long-lost treasures. Regardless of what the discovery might be, there is a certain element of uncertainty and danger when you venture into the watery unknown. Here are 12 mysterious things that nearly stop divers' hearts, and you need to see them to believe them. But before we get to it, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more amazing content. Alright, here we go. Number 12. Shipwreck Survivor One of the worst things that can happen to anyone on board a ship or a boat is experiencing a shipwreck. Modern vessels can combat most harsh conditions and even have emergency protocols to prevent such situations, but there are still times when Mother Nature shows its true might and overpowers the vessel. In most cases of maritime wreckage, the survival rate is very low, and any divers who are sent after the fact are mostly sent for recovering the bodies. But exceptions are there. For example, in this most unexpected case of a boat capsizing in the sea, one of the crew members managed to keep himself alive for three days. Harrison Okene, a chef on a tugboat with 12 crew members, didn't think he would be facing the worst 60 hours of his life when he sailed from the coast of Nigeria one fine day. After encountering a violent wave, the tugboat capsized and sank to an incredible 100 feet under the sea. Harrison managed to find a small air pocket in the back of the ship and managed to keep himself alive for three days. A team of divers who were sent with no hopes of recovering anyone alive were pleasantly surprised to find Harrison still alive and breathing though shaken by the whole ordeal. Luckily, they brought an extra oxygen mask and managed to rescue him, and Harrison lived another day to tell his tale. This man is incredibly lucky. Number 11. Maui Statues Most of us are aware of these iconic stone statues on Easter Island, and they've caught our imagination for a long time. Traditionally called the Maui Statues, there are over 900 of them scattered around the remote southeastern Pacific Islands. While their true purpose is still shrouded in mystery, it's said that these stone monoliths were carved in the likeness of the deified ancestors of the Rapa Nui people who inhabit Easter Island. Estimates say that these statues were built somewhere between 1250 and 1500 AD, and it's drawn the attention of the world at large over the years. But there is one specific Maui statue which is unlike the others, this one which rests underwater. The 23-foot-tall statue looks similar to the ones on land, but no one is able to answer what it's doing here. What was the purpose of this specific statue, and how did it end up here and upright? As of now, these questions are unanswered, but one theory is that it could be a prop from a failed movie and was just dumped into the ocean. Either way, finding it in the sea raises a lot of questions which will hopefully be answered in the future. Number 10. Squidworm the deep sea is a scary place by itself, but adding mysterious creatures into the mix makes the whole experience even more frightening. If you're someone who had to sight yourself a lot before diving underwater, your newfound courage would be short-lived if you were to come across this strange creature. The squid worm is probably the definition of a creepy crawly, and can only be found at depths of up to 9,950 feet. These terrifying-looking creatures have only been discovered in recent times, 2007 to be exact, and even now scientists are not fully informed about them. The squid worm has 10 squid-like limbs which allows it to move through water similar to how an earthworm moves through dirt. It measures close to 3.5 inches and has a flat body. They also come with 25 or more pairs of translucent white paddles that allow it to move its snake-like body. Since they're found at such deep levels in the sea, special robots are used for capturing them, and they're brought to the surface while being preserved in formaldehyde solution. The deep sea always wins the challenge of producing the most bizarre creatures known to man, and this is one of the latest entries. Number 9. Giant Trash Pile While the sea swallows a lot of valuable items through wrecks, it also collects a lot of trash that humankind produces on a daily basis. The sad reality is that although we might properly dispose our trash at our homes, a lot of it inevitably reaches the oceans. This has caused a massive negative impact to the marine ecosystems of the world. Richard Horner is a passionate diver from Britain who lives in Bali, Indonesia. He regularly dives with the local manta rays and other marine life and shows regular people a peek into the life underwater. 
but in 2018 he made a startling discovery. Off the coast of Indonesia, Horner discovered swathes of plastic pollution. Ever since then, he's been documenting this prevalent problem and hopes to encourage people to find a solution before more of our planet's oceans are forever poisoned and polluted for the marine life as well as for humans. Number 8. Giant Grenadier Fish Like the squid worm, there are other strange and creepy creatures living in the deepest parts of our oceans. The giant grenadier fish is one such example which mostly inhabits the benthopelagic level, which is one of the darkest and most difficult to access regions of the ocean. This fish is unlike any other, as evidenced by its incredibly wide jaw. It uses this feature to swim over the seabed and scoop up potential meals that it can find. They're also known to feast on rotting carcasses. Strangely, their presence has been noted the most after the Titanic was rediscovered back in 1985. Another peculiar feature this fish possesses is the terrible stench that it exudes. If you were to handle one of these fish, you would smell like it for days. It's kind of like getting skunked, but instead it's this deep-sea monster, so be careful around this one. Number 7. The Greenland Shark Meet the world's longest living vertebrate, the Greenland Shark. They're endemic to the Arctic and the North Atlantic Oceans, and they've been known to have incredible lifespans of anywhere between 300 to 500 years. These ancient creatures are particularly hard to observe since they're found at a depth of 4,000 feet and prefer the frigid cold waters of the Northern Hemisphere. The Greenland shark, on average, can reach up to 21 feet in length and can weigh upwards of 2,200 pounds, but have also been recorded to reach as large as 25 feet and weigh a massive 3,100 pounds. They have small gill openings and fins with a thick body and a small round snout. They're also known to be blinded by a lifelong parasite that damages the eyes. But this doesn't impact the predatory skills of the shark since they rely on olfactory and acoustic sensory organs for finding their prey. What incredible creatures they really are, and they look ancient. Number 6. The Neptune Memorial Reef This place gives the phrase burial at sea a whole new meaning. The Neptune Memorial Reef was created for those who wished to spend their eternity under the sea. Created back in 2007 by a Florida artist by the name of Kim Brandel, the Neptune Memorial was built in sponsorship with the Neptune Society, which is one of the largest providers of cremation services in the United States. It's located three miles from the coast of Biscayne, Miami, at a depth of 40 feet from the surface of the sea. If the idea of being cremated and buried in the realm of Neptune sounds inviting to you, then this place might be what you're looking for. They do this by turning the cremated remains into concrete memorials which are placed at this site for eternity. Divers of the family of the deceased can come and visit their loved ones for however long they please. If you wish to have your remains buried at the Neptune Memorial Reef, it can set you back around $2,600 for the standard placement of the cremated remains and upwards of $4,000 for both cremation and the placement of remains. It's a hefty price for an admission into this watery grave. Number 5. Venus Flytrap Anemone The Venus Flytrap Anemone is the underwater cousin of the regular Venus Flytrap. Similar to the land-based counterpart, the Venus flytrap anemone is a carnivorous aquatic plant which quietly waits for its food to come its way. Once something gets into its tentacles, the plant stings the food with a harpoon-like structure called nematocysts, which allows it to hold its food in place. After that, the plant folds itself almost like a mouth closing down on food. Venus flytrap anemones are known to be detritivores, which is another way of saying that they eat small particles of organic matter that is found in water. But on rare occasions, these plants have been seen digesting unsuspecting fish which get too close to the tentacles. A flesh-eating plant was the one thing that the deep sea seemed to be missing, until the Venus flytrap anemone seemed to fill that role. Number 4. SS Montgomery Shipwrecks are often found in the depths of the sea, but sometimes they can even be seen on the coasts of countries or in shallow waters. The SS Montgomery is one shipwreck that's been visible to the residents of the small town of Sheerness, UK, ever since its sank during World War II. The sight of the rusting mast might add character to the area, but it also serves as a reminder of what's hiding under the water. At the time of its sinking, the SS Montgomery was carrying 1,400 tons of high-powered explosives, and they're still around the site of the shipwreck. If it accidentally goes off, it can trigger a 30 to 40 foot tsunami wave which can come crashing through the Thames River into London. Since the wreckage contains so many explosives, it's made any effort of recovering the wreckage impossible. The SS Montgomery will continue to be a permanent part of the scenery of this English town for a very long time. Number 3. Neapolis 
Tsunamis have destroyed many ancient civilizations, and one such example is Neapolis, which is in modern-day Turkey. Archaeologists discovered a series of underwater ruins back in 2010, and it turns out it was an ancient Roman city completely wiped out by a tsunami around 1700 years ago. The ruin stretched out an impressive half a mile in length and served as one of the most important discoveries of this region. Even though the city was swallowed by the sea around 365 AD, a lot of the artifacts discovered in the area were in excellent condition. Neapolis is believed to have been founded in the 5th century BC and has changed ownership between various factions over the centuries. This is probably just one of the many ancient cities which was swallowed by the ocean, including the fabled city of Atlantis. Number 2. Vampire Squid Deep-sea creatures are known to be strange and scary-looking, but this one might take the cake. The vampire squid is a truly alien-looking creature, which looks like something that came straight out of hell. But despite its intimidating looks, the vampire squid is not a predatorial kind, especially not to humans. They're actually considered to be a threatened species, and conservation efforts haven't been going well since they're so elusive. One of the most incredible features of the vampire squid is its unique ability to turn itself inside out, which fools any in-pursuit predator into thinking that the squid was just a floating marine plant. It's been stated that this creature has been pretty much the same for the past 300 million years, so they're essentially believed to be living fossils which live in the depths of the ocean. Number 1. Ancient Silver If there's one thing that motivates a lot of divers to venture the depths of the ocean, it's long-lost treasures or artifacts. While coming across something like this is incredibly rare and often dangerous, the few lucky ones who make such a discovery will forever have their life changed. If there's a textbook example of an underwater treasure, it's probably the treasure found inside the SS Gare Sopper. During World War II, the SS Gare Sopper was used as a British cargo ship, but was sunk by a torpedo fired from a German U-boat. In this incident, only one of the 85 crew members survived, while the rest of the ship sank an astonishing 15,000 feet and stayed there for the past 70 years. The ship was known to contain 48 tons of pure silver at the time of its sinking, so the British government contracted a US-based deep-sea exploration company known as the Odyssey Marine Exploration to recover this long-lost loot. The expedition was a success, and the team was able to recover all of the 48 tons of silver. And the best part is, the exploration team got to keep 80% of the treasure, which fattened their wallets by an incredible $30 million. What a payday! And that's all of it. The deep sea is fascinating, yet scary. Which was your favorite out of the list? Let us know your choice in the comments and why. Before we let you go, be sure to hit the like button, share and subscribe for more great content. Bye!